Live from London, this is BBC News. Israel says it's now in the second phase of the war. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu warns the battle will be long and difficult. It is our second war of independence. We will fight and we will not surrender. We will not withdraw. The UN Secretary General criticises what he calls the unprecedented escalation of bombardment in Gaza. Our correspondent says a hospital was hit in the most intense attack yet. A week ago, the hospital was out of service because of no fuel and it was evacuated. But today, it was the main building of the hospital was destroyed. Prime Minister Netanyahu meets families of Israeli hostages worried about the escalating attacks on Gaza. And right now we're striking from the air every single day when we don't know where my cousin is, where we don't know where over 200 hostages are, and we don't know if any of our bombs is killing them. Here in London, thousands join pro-Palestinian demonstrations. Similar protests take place around the world, calling for a ceasefire. Fresh aid enters Gaza, and the UN tells the BBC they've managed to re-establish some contact with their teams on the ground. Hello, I'm Lewis Vaughan-Jones. Welcome to the programme. Just want to start with a bit of breaking news brought to us by our correspondent, Paul Adams. We've seen some comments on social media for the first time, seemingly, from Hamas's leader in the Gaza Strip. He has offered to release all hostages in return for the release of all Hamas prisoners in Israeli jails. In a statement on Hamas's official website, it says this. We are ready for an immediate exchange deal that includes the release of all prisoners in the prisons of the Zionist enemy in exchange for the release of all prisoners with the resistance. So that coming through from our correspondent, Paul Adams. We will speak to Paul shortly to get a bit of uh, context and background on that. Uh, now, though, I want to uh, focus on those comments from uh, Israelis, uh, the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. He spoke to the media uh, with a couple of uh, members of his uh, war cabinet as well in the last hour or so. We can see the pictures of that. Uh, he talked about the war entering its second phase. Let's take a, a look at the pictures. Uh, these are, forgive me, the pictures of uh, southern Israel. These are a live feed uh, we are keeping across. We have various different uh, live feeds uh, showing southern Israel, showing Gaza at different times coming into us here in the BBC uh, newsroom. We are keeping across and monitoring them. Uh, let's see Benjamin Netanyahu, though, at that press conference uh, because he gave us an update, a couple of crucial uh, developments. The phrase he used was that this is the second phrase of the war. He said, massive uh, airstrikes to assist our ground troops have taken place. Uh, he says, talked about hitting Hamas targets. He said the war will be long. He said they're now fighting in enemy territory. Uh, they're deployed in the north and the south. And he also said there is no contradiction uh, between the twin aims of dismantling Hamas and <laughs> bringing home the hostages. Well, let's take a look at some pictures from overnight. He was referring there to the intensification of the bombardments, and this is uh, what he was referring to, the flashes of orange over Gaza. 150 Hamas targets hit, according to uh, the Israeli officials. Uh, that uh, statement that he gave in the last hour or so, let's just take a quick listen to some more of that. <laughs> Again, I met 